Zinc and lead are metallic elements found naturally in the Earth's crust. They are not as shiny as gold or silver, but they are very useful. We use them in countless ways, often without even realizing it. Zinc is important for protecting steel from rusting. It is used in galvanizing, a process that coats steel with a thin layer of zinc. This makes the steel stronger and more resistant to corrosion. Lead is a heavy metal that is very dense. This makes it useful for things like car batteries, where it helps to store energy. Lead is also used in X-ray shielding because it blocks radiation. Both zinc and lead have been used by humans for thousands of years. They are essential materials for many industries including construction, transportation, and manufacturing. Finding deposits of zinc and lead is the first step in their journey from the Earth to our everyday lives. Geologists play a crucial role in this process, using their knowledge of the Earth's formations to locate potential ore bodies. Prospecting for zinc and lead often begins with studying geological maps and aerial photographs. These tools provide clues about the underlying rock formations and potential mineral deposits. Geologists then conduct fieldwork exploring promising areas and collecting rock samples. They analyze these samples for traces of zinc and lead, using specialized equipment. Once a potential deposit is identified, further exploration is needed to determine its size and economic viability. This may involve drilling boreholes and extracting core samples for detailed analysis. After a zinc and lead deposit is located and deemed economically viable, the process of extracting the ore from the earth begins. This can be done through either surface mining or underground mining methods. Surface mining is used when the ore body is relatively close to the surface. This method involves removing the overlying soil and rock known as overburden to access the ore. Underground mining is employed when the ore body is located deep underground. This method involves digging tunnels and shafts to reach the ore and transport it to the surface. Both surface and underground mining require specialized equipment and skilled operators. Safety is paramount in these operations, and strict measures are in place to protect miners and the environment. Once the zinc and lead ore has been extracted from the earth, it must be processed to separate the valuable minerals from the waste rock. This process typically begins with crushing and grinding the ore into a fine powder. The crushed ore is then mixed with water and reagents, chemicals that help to separate the minerals. This mixture is fed into a flotation cell, where air bubbles are introduced. The zinc and lead minerals attach to the air bubbles and rise to the surface, forming a froth. The waste rock, known as tailings, sinks to the bottom of the cell. The froth containing the concentrated zinc and lead minerals is collected and dried. This concentrate is then transported to a smelter for further processing. Smelting is a high temperature process that extracts the pure metals from the concentrated zinc and lead ore. The concentrate is heated in a furnace causing the metals to melt and separate from the remaining impurities. In zinc smelting, the concentrate is mixed with coke, which is a form of carbon, and heated in a retort furnace. The zinc vaporizes and is collected in a condenser where it solidifies. Lead smelting involves heating the concentrate in a blast furnace with coke and flux, a material that helps lower the melting point. The molten lead sinks to the bottom of the furnace and is tapped off. Smelting produces impure zinc and lead, which still contain small amounts of other metals. These impurities are removed in the next stage refining. Section 6. Refining the Essence. Purifying Zinc and Lead. Refining is the final step in the production of high-purity zinc and lead. This process removes any remaining impurities from the smelted metals, resulting in products suitable for various applications. Zinc refining often involves electrolysis where an electric current is passed through a solution containing dissolved zinc. This process deposits pure zinc onto cathodes, leaving behind impurities. Lead refining can be achieved through several methods including pyrometallurgical and electrolytic processes. These techniques remove elements like silver, gold, and bismuth, which may be present in small amounts. Refined zinc and lead are cast into ingots, slabs, or other shapes convenient for transportation and further processing, the purity levels achieved during refining determine the specific applications for the metals. Section 7. Shaping the Future. Transforming Metal into Products. Once refined, zinc and lead are ready to be transformed into a wide variety of products that we rely on daily. 
These metals undergo various processes to enhance their properties and make them suitable for different applications. From the moment they leave the refinery, they embark on a journey through a series of manufacturing stages. Manufacturing processes shape these versatile metals into forms suitable for their intended uses. Advanced machinery and skilled workers play a crucial role in this transformation, ensuring that each piece of metal meets the required specifications and quality standards. Zinc is commonly used in galvanizing where it provides a protective coating for steel products like guardrails, bridges, and car parts. This coating helps prevent rust and corrosion, significantly extending the lifespan of these steel structures and components. It's also alloyed with copper to create brass, used in musical instruments and plumbing fixtures. Brass is known for its acoustic properties, making it a preferred material for trumpets, trombones, and other wind instruments. Lead acid batteries found in vehicles and backup power systems are a major application for lead. These batteries are essential for starting engines and providing reliable power in critical situations. Its density makes it ideal for radiation shielding, protecting people in medical and industrial settings. Lead sheets are used in X-ray rooms and nuclear facilities to block harmful radiation. The versatility of zinc and lead extends to countless other products including roofing materials, paint pigments, and even sunscreen. Zinc oxide, for instance, is a key ingredient in many sunscreens, providing effective protection against harmful UV rays. Their unique properties make them essential components of modern life. From the infrastructure that supports our cities to the everyday items we use, zinc and lead play a vital role in enhancing the quality and durability of numerous products. Section 8. Global Reach The Trade and Distribution of Zinc and Lead the production and consumption of zinc and lead are global endeavors with mines, smelters, and manufacturing facilities located around the world. These metals are essential for various industries, including construction, automotive, and electronics, making their production and distribution a critical component of the global economy. International trade ensures a steady supply of these essential metals to meet global demand. The logistics involved in transporting zinc and lead are complex, involving multiple modes of transportation and coordination across different countries and continents. China is the world's largest producer of both zinc and lead, contributing significantly to the global supply. The country's extensive mining operations and industrial capacity enable it to dominate the market, followed by other countries like Peru, Australia, and the United States. These nations have rich mineral deposits and advanced mining technologies that allow them to be key players in the zinc and lead markets. These countries export significant quantities of zinc and lead to meet the needs of industries worldwide. The export process involves stringent quality checks and adherence to international trade regulations to ensure the metals meet industry standards. Transportation plays a crucial role in the distribution of zinc and lead. Efficient logistics networks are essential to move these metals from production sites to manufacturing hubs and end users. These metals are typically transported in the form of ingots, which are easier to handle and store. The ingots are then processed further to create various products used in different industries, slabs or concentrates, depending on the requirements of the end users. Each form has its own advantages and is chosen based on the specific needs of the manufacturing process, using ships, trains, and trucks to reach their destinations. The choice of transportation mode depends on factors such as distance, cost, and the urgency of delivery, and trucks to reach their destinations. Efficient transportation networks are crucial to minimize delays and ensure a steady supply of these essential metals. The prices of zinc and lead are influenced by factors such as global supply and demand, economic conditions, and geopolitical events. Market fluctuations can have significant impacts on the industries that rely on these metals. Fluctuations in these prices can impact the profitability of mining and manufacturing operations, companies must constantly adapt to changing market conditions to remain competitive and ensure a stable supply of zinc and lead. Section 9. Essential Elements – The Enduring Significance of Zinc and Lead Despite facing increasing competition from alternative materials, zinc and lead remain essential elements in our modern world. These metals have been integral to human progress for centuries, playing a pivotal role in various technological and industrial advancements. Zinc, known for its anti-corrosive properties, is widely used in galvanizing steel, which protects structures from rust and extends their lifespan. Lead, on the other hand, has been crucial in the development of batteries, radiation shielding, and even in the construction of buildings. 
Their unique properties and versatility ensure their continued importance across numerous industries. Zinc's ability to form alloys with other metals enhances its utility in die casting and the production of brass. Lead's high density and malleability make it indispensable in applications requiring soundproofing and vibration dampening. As we transition towards a more sustainable future, research and development efforts are focused on finding new and innovative applications for zinc and lead, while also minimizing their environmental impact. Scientists are exploring eco-friendly alternatives and improvements in recycling technologies to ensure that these metals can be used more efficiently and sustainably. Recycling plays a crucial role in ensuring a sustainable supply of these metals. By recovering zinc and lead from discarded products, we can significantly reduce the need for new mining operations, which in turn helps to conserve natural resources and reduce environmental degradation. Recovering zinc and lead from end-of-life products reduces the need for new mining and conserves natural resources. This process not only helps in reducing the environmental footprint but also supports the circular economy, where materials are continuously reused and repurposed. From the depths of the earth to the products we use every day, the journey of zinc and lead is a testament to human ingenuity and our reliance on these versatile metals. Their applications range from the mundane to the highly specialized, underscoring their indispensable role in our daily lives. Their enduring significance underscores the importance of responsible sourcing, production, and recycling practices to ensure their availability for generations to come. By adopting sustainable practices, we can continue to benefit from these essential metals while protecting our planet for future generations.